I'm telling y'all right now, Nikola Jokic is the goddamn truth. For real, if I ain't ever seen it. Like, this team is well-balanced, and the Lakers have a tall task ahead of them, for sure. The way they came out swinging, y'all, it was crazy. It was an onslaught. And I'm looking at this like, bro, they, and what really, really got the Lakers in deep hole early, the rebounding. Jokic and them getting every rebound. They just seemed like they wanted it more. Um, they had more energy. And, yeah, man, and, I mean, and Jokic and his team, this is a skilled team, but Jokic is highly skilled, bro. He was getting every rebound he wanted. Nothing was, no, no balls was bouncing the Lakers' way. And if, even if it was, the Denver Nuggets just wanted it more, and they went and got the ball. So when you're getting out-rebounded like that, guys getting second opportunities to score, they not, they taking advantage of it. They hitting their shots. Everybody across the board, y'all, from Jamal Murray to KCP to Bruce Brown. First of all, Bruce Brown was on his way to 20. We, you, you not going to win letting Bruce Brown get a dub. You not, okay? But how, they had one, two, three, four, five, six, six guys in double figures. Aaron Gordon had two. Aaron Gordon was going to the cup ferociously. I'm like, oh, my fuck. What the what is going on? Lakers couldn't defend it at all, couldn't stop anybody. And the problem was that small lineup, super small lineup for sure. And like the, the Denver Nuggets was licking their chops at that. Aaron Gordon, Michael Porter Jr. He got some small guards trying to uh, defend his shots. He's shooting over now. Even with a hand in trying to, with trying to get a hand in his face, he's so much taller than him. He getting busy, right? Jokic had 34, 21, and 14. <coughs> That's video game numbers. You letting him get off like that, fam? Like, you in trouble, trouble, okay? You in trouble. So, uh, man, I, boy, the, it was, I'm telling you, it was furious. And the Lakers got themselves in such a deep hole early due to the fact that due to the small, uh, due to the small lineup, due to the fact that uh, they was losing the rebound battle tremendously. And then, like, I think the point, at one point, it was like 19 rebounds to three for the Lakers. I'm like, wow. And then you trade in baskets back and forth, back and forth. And then they start hitting three after three. They were hitting some of the craziest shots you could ever see happen on, uh, you could ever see on the court. So the role players hitting everything. This looked like they was the Splash Brothers in the Golden State Warriors last night. And the Lakers, again, they came out and hit the Lakers in the mouth. Now, towards the end of the game, or towards the middle, first of all, I'm going to get all credit to Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis came out there hooping. Only 10 rebounds, but 40 matching Jokic coming back, and he was trying and he was trying to, with his hardest to guard him as vigorously as possible, right? But he was trying, and he was giving an effort on the offensive end as well, right? Um, this is the thing. The Lakers, at the end of the game, Putting Rui Hachimura on Nikola Jokic and then have AD looming right a little bit in that area. So just in case Jokic spins around off Hachimura, AD is right there as a wall defensively to put his hands up and block shots or alter shots. That worked well for the Lakers. Well, Rui was holding his own as well, like for real. And then AD right there behind him, backing him up. It looked good for sure. And the Lakers figured something out at that point. And they went on a run, right? Guys started eventually making shots they were missing early in the game. Austin Reeves. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I'm going to say this too. LeBron James at this point, he, nobody still can't stop him driving. Okay? This, this postseason, he shot like 26% from three. He's not shooting well from the three ball. Y'all know that's my boy. That's my dog. At the end of the game, the game was close. It was like they was down three. And LeBron tried to bust the game. He tried to like hit the big shot. They hit the home run ball to try to tie the game up with a big three at the end of the game. I think it was like a minute or something left. They didn't need that. Okay. Bronze, my dog, you got to go to the cup. Try to get at least get a two or get a high percentage shot in that situation. Him from three is not a high percentage shot. Okay. So that 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 was not a good, wasn't a good attempt. And then they didn't get the rebound. But they, they, didn't, they didn't secure an offensive rebound to try to get the, the play back. So now you you don't score and you give them an opportunity to score in the next play. I think which they did, I believe, right? So um yeah, that wasn't a good that wasn't a good thing. That wasn't a good look. Now people saying LeBron three the miss the miss free throws. LeBron was eight of eleven from free from the free throw line. 
Now, historically speaking, LeBron James has never been an excellent free throw shooter. 8 of 11 is very good for him. Now, in the long on the long run, because the game was close at the end, you could say those the uh the three the free throws missed. Oh, they put them in a bad spot, a bad situation, but we know LeBron James is not a good free throw shooter. So, like look, man, that was, that that was great for him. I'm not going to count the free throws against him. And I really like the people talking about the turnover to me, y'all, they that ball thrown that deep into the paint like that with him coming running in like that, and the ball just come. It, it, he caught the ball awkwardly. It was thrown a little awkwardly, and I knew it was gonna be a turnover event. I was like, nah, he's not gonna be able to main. Like he's not gonna be able to to keep a hold of this basketball to where they to where it's secured. I knew it was some it, it somehow some way the Denver Nuggets were gonna come up with that ball because of the way he caught it, the way it was thrown. How deep he was into the paint, the way it was—it was just like an awkward. He was—he caught it awkwardly, uh, was thrown a little bit um, awkwardly, a little bit, and so I knew he wasn't going to gather that ball, gather possession of the ball for real, like all the way. Like no, I knew that. Uh, but that three, yeah, all responsibility on Braun for that. Nah, it's not a—it's th- not the play you need to make. Attack the cup, either go to the line, or you're going because he was hitting free throws late. Uh, except the one before, I think he split one, like, at the end of the game, like, in, like, two minutes left, three minutes left, he might have split a free throw, but, yeah, go to the cup, uh, to get fouled, or either finish the play, right, but, um, that's not the only reason why the Lakers lost, yes, Lil Russell did not play well, and you saw him after the game, shooting around, trying to, you know, uh, get himself in, in correct form to come out better game two, uh, Dennis Schroeder had six, uh, Lonnie Walker, it was times, I'm talking about the different Nuggets were playing so much, their defense was so excellent, Lonnie was going up to shoot and just losing the ball, they stripping him as he going up to shoot, several times he just losing control of the ball, losing control of the handle of the ball while he's going up trying to make layups, all of that, their defense was excellent at times, so yeah man, um, all credit to the Denver Nuggets, they came out, they came out and performed well, um, came and hit the Lakers dead square in the mouth. Darvin Ham says, you know, they'll be, you know, they'll figure it out. You know, basically like, okay, we'll be fine. We figure it out. Um, let's see. Hopefully so. Y'all know that's my boy, LeBron, my dog, so I'm rooting for him. But they got a tall task ahead of them. Um, you know, Jokic is going to be a lot to handle. He's making a correct, I'm talking about beautiful passes, y'all. Like, when I was coming into the paint, he dropping that mug off. And we seen him do this when he beat the Clippers some years ago. And throughout his years, you know, he, he had like, he averaged like 10 or 11 assists this season, right? So we've seen him, we we know that he's a great passer. But the fact that they're the different Nuggets players make great cuts. And when he gets them these open shots, they're knocking them down. Knocking them down. Like, even, like, what you call it? Um, Jeff Green, only three. And he chose to let him shoot it. Splack. Jokic, them hitting shots that are crazy, hand in their face. They just knocking them down. You like, damn. So, um, but I promise, I feel like if the Lakers didn't go small, they would have had a better chance at containing certain things. Certain things. Some things the Lakers, the Nuggets just were going to hit. They were just like, nah, they was just on it. They was on one and it was going to be what it was going to be. But I feel like had they didn't come out with, they, had they come out with a bigger lineup, that wouldn't have, the brother came out there with like Austin Reeves, Dennis Schroeder. I think Diaz La Russell was out there. Too. It was like, what the hell? Like, nah, bro. Nah, we you can't come out there marching that out there, man. But yeah, man, both teams shot 54% from the field. Uh, they both shot nearly the same. Per- oh, sh- no, nah, that's from three. That was free throw. Uh, 45% from three. Um, Lakers missed three free throws. They missed, hold on. Lakers missed three, three free throws. And then Denver missed five. Um, total rebounds. The Lakers only had 30 total rebounds. Denver Nuggets had 47. They had 17 more rebounds than them. 15 offensive boards compared to the Lakers five. Okay. That's huge. Second chance opportunities. They come and they taking advantage of them. Y'all. They not just getting second shots. They get their second opportunity. They're scoring. It was to a point where I'm watching the game. I knew if the Lakers didn't secure the rebound. Oh, damn. Denver finna come out this and capitalize. They finna get the ball and score, in which they did nearly almost every time, almost, right? Um, Lakers only had seven, ton- seven turnovers, but <coughs> yeah, man, I think they just got so 
in such a bad position. Got like they got behind early, and they found themselves just trying to dig themselves out of the hole the whole game, cause the Denver Nuggets was not they was not effing around. They was not effing around. So the Lakers are going to have to play their best basketball. LeBron at times going to have to be able to just go ahead and go to the cup and, and, and drive. Until they, they say, until they prove that they cannot stop that. But they're taking the jump shots all the time and the threes all the time. Like, no, bro. Especially in critical situations. Unless you wide open, don't try to pull that, bro. Like, go to the cup or pass to the open man like you usually do. Find Austin Reeves. Find, um, I mean, and again, D'Angelo was off last night. But be open. Give him a shot. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, man, but um, I'm looking at KCP. KCP at 21, knocking it, knocking that shit down. And KCP was a former Laker, so I know what he's capable of doing when he getting hot. When he getting hot, it's curtains, cause you know, like he just he he, he catches fire. But again, Bruce Brown, the lane, the lane to the basket was wide open. Bruce Brown coming through that mug, gliding down to the cup. Him and Aaron Aaron Gordon. I'm like, yo, what the hell is going on, Lakers? What are y'all, where's the defense at? So, yeah, man, Bruce Brown looked like he was on his way to 20, a dub. So I'm interested to see how the Lakers will respond to this loss. Um, Well-played game by the Denver Nuggets for sure. They secured the victory. Lakers made a big run at the end. They secured the victory, though. They still uh, staved off the victory. I mean, they staved off the, um, the charge from the Lakers. And... You know, they got the job done. Got, they secured the win. So, Lakers got to steal home court. Got to come back and get that next game, man. Machiavelli Mills TV. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the, uh, the game in the comment section below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.